Hi everyone, my name is Pavitra V, Department of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss a topic called fullerenes. Fullerenes are nothing but allotropic forms of carbon, which is made up of carbon with a different physical properties. And uh, this is the definition of fullerenes. It is uh, any molecule composed entirely of carbon, which is having a structure, halosphere, ellipsoid or tubical in nature. Spherical fullerenes are called buckyballs and the cylindrical ones are called carbon nanotubes or bucky tubes. So these are the images to explain buckyballs and bucky tubes. Next we will discuss the types of fullerenes, buckyball clusters, nanotubes, megatubes, polymers, nano onions, linked ball and chain dimers, fullerene rings. Now we will discuss one by one. Buckyball cluster is nothing but it is a cluster of number of carbon atoms which is having a smallest member 20 in number so that is 20 number of carbon atoms are made in a cluster C20 fullerene which is unsaturated version of dodecahedron so having a 12 sites and uh, the most common one is C60 that is 60 number of carbon atoms forming a football like structure so that is called c60 fullerenes next one is nanotubes which is halo tubical in nature very small dimensions having a single or multiple walls potential applications in electronic industries are used next one is mega tubes which is little bit larger in diameter than nanotubes and prepared with walls of different thickness potentially used for the transport of variety of molecules of different sizes next one is the polymers polymers are made up of monomer unit which is in ring repeating nature so if it is repeating in one dimension we will get chain polymers if it is repeating in two dimension we will get a two dimensional polymers that is planar in nature if it is uh, the poly monomer unit is repeating in three dimension then we will get a three dimensional polymers which are formed under high pressure and high temperature conditions single stranded um, polymers are formed using the atom transfer radical addition polymerization uh, AT REAP it is a method of preparation next we will see the nano onions these are nothing but spherical particles based on multiple carbon layers surrounding a bucky ball core which almost similar for similar to the onion structure so it can be used as a lubricant in the machines next one is linked ball and chain dimers it is nothing but two bucky balls linked by a carbon chain it looks like that and these are the some of the types and now we will discuss the application of fullerenes first one is organic photovoltaics here fullerenes having a halo structure they can trap the electrons hence they can be used as a n type semiconductor which is nothing but electron acceptor negatively charged electrons are responsible for charge carrying so or current flow in semiconductor material as they are derivatives or to increase their solubility the most commonly used derivative in photovoltaics is c60 fullerenes but c70 has been shown to have a 25 percent higher power conversion efficiency than c60 fullerenes so these are one of the application and further it can be used as an antioxidant and biopharmaceutical industries. So fullerenes having a sponge like structure it can neutralize or absorb more than 20 free radicals per fullerene molecule. So oxidants or the fullerene sorry oxidants or the free radicals are not good for health. So it can remove the free radicals. So hold greater promise in health and personal care applications where prevention of oxidative cells damage or death is desirable. So it can be acting as a healthy part of a body. And uh, next one other than that too, 
we have so many applications of fullerenes like it can act as a catalyst which alters the rate of reaction marked ability to accept the transfer hydrogen atoms hydrogenation reaction and hydro dealkylation reactions can be carried out so hydro dealkylation reaction is uh, mostly suitable for aromatic compounds example toluene next it inhibits the coking reactions next application is water purification and biohazard production in which singlet oxygen catalysis of organics with fullerene c60 is carried out next one is portable power as it is having a halo structure it can absorb the electrons in order to maintain the uh, charged particles that is proton and electron flow in a fuel cells it can be act, acting as a proton exchange membrane next one it act, can act as a vehicles in enhanced durability like in paint and dyes next in medical field it is used in a mri scanning or in a, acting as a mri agent mri is nothing but magnetic resonance imaging so these are the applications of fullerenes